would just pop in in the beginning of this video because I realised that I didn't really introduce anything. I guess the first thing I should say is welcome back to the channel. I know I kind of went away in September but I'm back. Today's video is going to be a crochet with me and it's a project that I've been meaning to get to for a really long time so I hope you enjoy. And by the time you are watching this video then I will have released a full written pattern for this project. It's one of my first patterns that I'm releasing. I know I've kind of said that I wouldn't release patterns. I think right now, in this moment, I'm gonna have to respectfully say no. But here we are. To be honest, it's all thanks to you lot because you've given me the confidence to start releasing my own patterns. So you'll be able to find today's pattern as well as any future releases on my coffee page, my Etsy shop, and also my website, which I'll all have linked in the description below. Cheers! So in today's video, as I would have said, I'm going to be recreating a flower bandana that I first saw Mingha wear in a Going 17 episode called Wani's Diary. And in case that last sentence totally threw you off, as a little brief, Mingha is part of a music group called Seventeen and Going 17 is their variety show that they have on YouTube. And as soon as I saw that bandana, I knew it was crochet and I knew I had to recreate it. So immediately I saved the pictures of him wearing it and I did a little research investigation. I guess I should just put in this video as well as some sort of disclaimer that this design is by no means original of mine, it's by no means revolutionary. I have studied some pictures of this bandana, so hopefully this is as accurate as it can be to the one Minka was wearing. So with this project, I've decided to create my own pattern from scratch. It's taken some time, but I think I have got it. Let me show you what equipment I'm gonna be using for this project. I've unintentionally matched all of my equipment with my outfit today, which I kind of love. So for this project, I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook. I've also got some scissors, a needle, and then I'm also going to be using double knit acrylic yarn. I have two colors here, so I think I'm gonna make the flowers in white and then the border of the whole bandana is gonna be using up the rest of this sage green color. And this little bowl is just to put all the flowers in so I don't lose them. I also just wanted to show you the fact that oh, I'm gonna completely out myself on the internet but I've even got like a Ming Hao stick on my laptop. Oh God, if my brother watches this, I'm gonna get rinsed. So for this bandana, I'm gonna need 15 full regular flowers and then six half flowers. For crochet circles or centers like this, I would usually use a magic ring or a magic circle, but when I looked closely at this bandana, it had a very small like hole in the center of the flower. So I'm gonna use a chain and then slip stitch back to the first chain to create a loop. And then all I've done is half double crochet in the center of that chain loop. And I'm just gonna slip stitch back to the beginning to make a little center. And now I'm just gonna crack on with the petals. Can I put my phone in there? Oh, beautiful. We might as well have a chat while I'm making these petals. So, I'm back after a little bit of a hiatus there. I'm pretty sure there's quite a few new subscribers to this channel since my last proper full video. So if that applies to you, then hello, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. To be honest, I feel like I just ended up writing off September and I'm trying to treat October as a fresh start. But I tell you what I did do in September. I'm calling this an investment piece. So I bought myself a bed tray like this. Let me move my phone a sec. This one's just from Ikea. It's legs can like fold away, which is really handy. <gasps> you know what I was gonna say? The only thing I wish this had was some sort of like yarn dispenser, you know, like a yarn bowl. <gasps> Wait, I could kind of use this as like a yarn bowl as well. This just gets better. Okay, just finishing off the last petal. I'm making eight petals in total for these full flowers. I'm just gonna tie off this one. There we go. One full flower done. 14 more to go. Oh, this is brilliant. Why didn't I do this sooner? Here are the flowers. I'm gonna start attaching them tonight and then show you the progress tomorrow. To attach them, I'm gonna to use the join as you go method because I think 
it's going to save me a lot of time and effort to be honest because it's going to save me making individual granny squares and then going back and seaming them all together all of these didn't take that long at all to make maybe two hours something like that so you could definitely make this project within a weekend and if you're speedy maybe in a day so here's a little update what i'm up to so far as you can see i've attached two rows of flowers so far and i've just got another four rows to go the thing with the drone as you go method is that i think it looks way more intimidating than it actually is but it's like anything with practice it becomes so much easier and you get quicker every time at this point i've also attached more than half of the flowers so i've not got that many to go and i know i said i wanted to make this as accurate as possible but obviously these aren't the colors of mingo's bandana his was black and then daisies so yellow and white but i'm just using whatever yarn i had in my collection and you can do the same bandana shape now and all it's left to do is the ties so I'm just gonna grab the same colour yarn that I used for the border slip stitch to the corner and then I'm going to chain a pretty decent length and then once I've got that I'm going to start in the third chain from the hook and I'm going to make a row of double crochet back along this chain but I'm going to crochet in the back bumps of the chain for me crocheting in the back bumps of the chain takes a little bit more time but i find that it creates a more professional finish i think when you're making ties and i'm using double crochet just so the ties can be a little bit thicker and now i'm back to the bandana so i'm just going to secure with a final slip stitch tie off here and now that I have one tie, I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. And for anyone wondering, I did sew in all of the ends at the back of the bandana off camera. a thumbs up as well I'm sure Minga would agree and if you do want to be kept in the loop for future videos on this channel then make sure to hit subscribe and click the bell notifications oh and if you do make one of these for yourself then tag me on Instagram I'd love to see it at Doody's Crochet take care of yourselves thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one